What is going on, everybody? This is Stryker, welcoming you to episode number 108 of my Minecraft Let's Play, guys. Now, a couple of warnings. One, it is 3 a.m., so if I find myself getting distracted, well, it's because it's 3 a.m. Two, if my world isn't properly loading or it's getting kind of laggy, it's because I just opened the world, so just bear with me here as we take this on face first. How you doing? Anyways, guys, we are here. Like I said, at the end of last episode, I do believe that we were going to start by getting another horse and getting a friend for our first horse, Sprinkles, guys. Now, this horse has an unofficial name, the one that I'm about to tame and capture and place within my barn, but I don't have a name tag for them. So, we're going to have to deal with it for a little bit and then we will go off of there. So I don't want an all black horse. Sprinkles is black and white. So I don't want a black horse. I was thinking that brown and white one over on the coast. I'm just taking a little, little peep at everything that's going on around here. Oh, and also I've been doing a little bit of audio mixing. Uh, I was told by my best friend that the snare in the beat gets a little wonky sometimes and like kind of distracting every now and again. So I have dropped that an extra couple of audio levels. So hopefully this new and improved background track is more suited for everyone's liking. I did agree with him, you know, with the uh, the standard commentary type style video. Hey, you need to be able to hear what's going on. You need to be able to figure that out and everything like that. And if there's that snare that keeps kicking in your face, ooh, you're a jumper, aren't ya? And if there's that snare that keeps kicking in your face, it can get a bit distracting. So I totally understand. And boom. So yeah, guys. Don't give him any hate. He doesn't deserve it. He's just trying to help me out, if you know what I'm saying. So shout out to you, buddy. Shout out to you, Mr. Aham. He has appeared on this channel before in the co-op Minecraft series season one. And this is why I hate horses. I'm about to transport like 60 blocks ahead of me. Or we're not going to move at all. Never mind. Okay. Half of the time they either lag and like shoot you forward or you just don't move at all and I wasn't sure which one it was going to be. I was predicting to be launched forward, but that was not the case. Now, that's what I thought. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I could cross the land here and now trees. Once we get past these trees over this little hill, then we can place you in our barn and we can unofficially, officially name you. My world is taking forever to load in. Look, there's that cave that I found. So maybe we'll find something cool down there. Yeah, I was kind of cheating looking at it as the world was loading in. But you know what? That's not on me. That's not my fault. It's just the world. So we now have two horses ready for battle in diamond armor. And I think that looks great. Do we have a sign on us? Per perhaps. I don't believe we do. No, we do not. And I don't know if I have any in the chest over here. I also realize that my inventory is extremely cluttered. So bear with me for, I don't know, about two minutes uh, max for me to get the sign going and fix my inventory real quick. So all of the stone components up here, then wood up in here, then we got coal. It's over there and hostile mob drops. We got another ender pearl because we were fighting an enderman at the end of the last episode, I do believe, or it was around that time of the end of the episode. And then dirt. We got more wood supplies. And I have a grass block. Oh, I picked that up off of the enderman. Hey! Nice! I like it. Alright, so all this other random junk, I guess we can keep in the inventory. For the time being, I got some extra torches, I believe, up in the tools chest here. Yes, I do. And since we are going to be heading into that cave down there, just to do a little bit of under the uh, under the house exploration. Do I have an extra sign? I don't. So we're going to have to create a sign here. Uh, we need some planks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Signs. Now we've got plenty of signs here. Boom. And boom. Three signs. And we're only going to need to use one of them to place on the horse stall. And also, I was thinking about doing a little editing to the front of the horse stalls, where they have, I don't know if you guys have been to like a horse stable or anything like that, but usually it's like a wall and then there's like a fence up here that they can see through, so it's like up at eye level. And then it's got like their name on it, so we're just gonna 
do this for right now. Our horse is named Elmer's. That's right, guys. If you don't understand why our horse is named Elmer's, then that's A-OK. -okay. No judgment passed, but if you do, then you understand why that is funny, guys. So, let's go ahead into here. So we did a little bit of a preliminary search, and we found that one portion of this cave led down to lava. Okay, so that was the one that dead ended into nothingness, basically, up on the surface. And Minecraft is being really wonky right now, really laggy, even though I'm getting about 20 frames. I know that that sounds weird. I'm saying, like, I'm getting about 20. Like, obviously, I would want to get more frames per second. I would love to have, like, 60, like normal, or even up to 100. But with all of these snapshots and everything, 20 isn't that bad in, in all reality. All right, so I hear a skeleton underneath me. Or at least around my general vicinity. Let's go ahead and just drop down over here real fast. Place torches on the right so I know where the heck I'm going at all times. Ooh, I am glad I did not <laughs> fall down into there. Oh my goodness, that was almost disastrous, guys. Alright, so. This branch is all lit up. I guess we'll just I guess we'll just work on this one. And then we'll go check out the other one when we return, guys. So, we got a bunch of coal over here bunch of iron and actually I'm glad that we found a little cave to go through and it could actually turn into some huge caving ex you know expedition I guess would be a correct word uh, but we're still pretty low on iron after making the beacon and everything and one of the items that I added to my list was that we need more beacons the more beacons the better if you know what I mean so we're gonna get some more beacons <gasps> holy crap Okay, so, good thing I wasn't standing on that block, even though I almost was. Dang, we might have found ourselves a little ravine. Alright, and then this block was safe-ish. What is going on down here? Okay, I thought this was going to be like a legitimate, like, little tiny cave that we found that was just like a branch big. But apparently not. So I'm going to have to fill over this area so I don't fall to my death because that would be unfortunate and then this is where it went down so I guess for right now since I don't have anything else I'll just water travel down I picked up my source block on the way I know you can't see anything the water had to move so I could place that torch okay so this is the end and it continues to go down even Owie. So we know that there's more that way, so we might even be able just to dig straight into it. So for right now, let's go ahead and grab this coal, and I guess we can just try to dig towards that other part that we saw that we almost fell into. Come on, where's it at? It wasn't that far away, right? Alright, we're just gonna, we're gonna build up, and then we're gonna drop down on the other part. That's fine. All right, Minecraft, I see what you're doing. And I think I have enough blocks. Oh, I forgot I can't spam click because of my shield. Let me put my torches in my free hand. Gosh darn it. And more blocks, diorite blocks. We back up. Yes, we are. And since there's nothing else that way, we can seal that off. And we can dig this out. And I guess we can just go down from right here on the side. So this actually looks kind of ravine-like, but I don't, I don't know, it's not like a huge ravine if it is. Because it's still kind of small-ish looking. Hopefully it stays that, I did not mean to actually break that block, I meant to break the other one. Hopefully it stays that way, because I don't know if I can handle a full-size ravine. Oh my goodness, alright. So, we've got nothing going on over here. No ores, no resources, no nothing like that. And let me just indicate that this is the way out. All right, so now we know how the heck to get out of here. I see some iron down there at the bottom. All right. Yep, it's just a straight wall down. Feather falling. That's how we do it. All right, so we can actually dig over here into the rest of it so I don't have to go back up. So that's nice. All right, just a nice little four spot of iron. And we got some bats and some iron some more bats and some more iron this is really odd the fact that I have lived over top of this like my entire Minecraft settlement career wise here like, 
and never found it, like not once. I mean, I know I hear cave sounds all the time, but I knew that there was like a cave system underneath, obviously because we had the abandoned mine shaft that went through underneath, and then there was a cave attached to that and all kinds of stuff. And then my strip mine underneath. I don't think that uh, human built structures such as like mine shafts make noises at like other caves and stuff. Yeah, you can't spam click when you go to like climb up anymore if you put anything in your free hand. Which is kind of annoying, in all honesty. <clears throat> Sorry, in all honesty, my voice just decided to disappear there. But it's something that we just adjust to over time and forget that we ever had the luxury of spam building up. Spam, I guess that's a thing. Spam building up, where you just hold down your right click to place blocks underneath you. Does this end over here? See, I'm still here in those zombies. It's always zombies. There's got to be a spawner around here somewhere. I swear. It's always zombies that I hear over here. It's not skeletons. I mean, we did hear the spider the other time. Right? We only heard one spider, though, you know? Do you hear him? Right front or right? I'm just digging to the sound. I'm trying to listen to it, so I apologize if I'm getting a little quiet. They're still in front of me. Still in front of me. They could be right over my head as well. I'm going to try to keep this as well lit up as possible for you guys. Okay, they're right around here. Okay, another little facet of a cave here. So I guess we can uh, look through here real fast, see if there's anything worth taking, worth consuming in here. Let's go ahead and destroy that water block as well. Is that a mine shaft? Is this the... Does this link to the other one? Is that a thing? Or is this a brand new mine shaft? Huh. Guys! I... I don't know! Is this new? Do I have torches down here? I have torches down here, so we actually missed part of the mine shaft when we were going through here. That's crazy. Out of all things that I thought we'd encounter, it was never part of the mine shaft that we had originally found and just not completed. I thought we completed the entire mine shaft. But there were definitely my torches. They were definitely placed in the same same kind of deal that I would, you know? The same kind of thing that I would do. One of these symmetrical rooms is nice to see. Very mine shafty. Uh, you basically find them standard in every mine shaft. As there's just that symmetrical room, typically made mostly out of dirt, which is interesting. Dang, alright, well, let's go ahead and take this iron over here too. And then uh, I guess next episode we can come back over this way and see how much of that mine shaft we actually did miss, because I guess that's the next level up above. Alright, let's go ahead up and out of here, which is this way? Not this way? It is this way? It is this way. Okay. Alright, cool. Mark, this is out. Alright. So we still heard those zombies over this way. Right? There they are. There he is. Oh, dug right up into the end. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just trying to listen, because I swear we heard more than one zombie. I really want there to be a spawner so close to home. That would be awesome if we can make another XP farm, though. Oh my, and have, like, even the tubing come up above the ground, so when you're just standing up on ground level, you can see all of the zombies just, like, being ferried up into your, your XP farm. Like, that would be so sweet! But I don't know if we're going to have that luxury. Because I can't tell you if it is a spawner or not. I just know that I kept hearing zombie sounds over here. And really, we could be a couple hundred blocks away from spawn and not even know it right now. Or, or settlement, rather. I always call it spawn, just because we've lived there basically since like episode 10 or so. 
But that's going to bring us to the end of this episode, guys. So next episode, we'll do some exploring around here and back into the mineshaft, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.